If someone asked you what the world's best-selling musical instrument was, you'd be forgiven for assuming it was the guitar. I mean, after all, it seems like every other person has one, and in truth, it could quite easily be described as the most popular instrument in the world. But in fact, if we were talking about units per year, it's the harmonica that takes the title of the world's best-selling instrument. Sure, there's lots of other popular musical instruments out there, such as guitars, drums, and keyboards, not to mention all the ones we learned in school. We'll just call them the orchestral instruments. And pricing on musical instruments has come way down over the years, mostly due to cheap labor markets in the world. Of course, high-quality instruments still are very pricey. I mean, in the end, quality certainly dictates price when it comes to musical instruments. Of course, none of these typical musical instruments have been able to surpass the sales numbers of the humble harmonica. It could be because it has a relatively cheap price tag and it is easy to use. Now, you did notice I didn't say it was easy to use well, but they estimate that over 3 million harmonicas are sold each year, and this has been the case for some time now. The harmonica was first developed in ancient China, it was around 1850 when the instrument began to be mass-produced in the country of Germany, and it soon found its way to the U.S. where it became a popular instrument across the various genres of music at the time, mostly country and American folk music. In the 1940s, you would start to hear it in the blues, and, and from there it was just a short hop to jazz and mainstream rock and roll. A harmonica is made of five parts. These include the bottom cover, the top cover, a drawer reed plate, a comb, and a blow reed plate. The holes you blow into are called the reed chambers. Blowing into any of these holes produces sound. The hands can also be used to create a vibrato effect. Now, in the case of its popularity, well, a few things were in the harmonica's favor. I mean, it was small and easily carried in your pocket. You didn't need any fancy things like straps or cables or any other accoutrements to play it. And when you were done, back in your pocket and on your way. It was also affordable for a quality harmonica. You might pay between $25 to $100. And of course, I'm sure there are more expensive ones, but they all work the same way for the most part. So we bow to you, O oh great harmonica, as the best-selling musical instrument 